In this session, we're asked to solve the quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. We're asked to only find real solutions. And if there are no real solutions, enter DNE, which means does not exist in both answers. Keep in mind that we only want real solutions. So if our solution contains the imaginary I, we'll use do not, does not exist. All right, so here we have 5 plus 3x minus x squared equals to 0. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in descending order. And remember that I'm not actually moving any terms across our equal signs, so our signs must stay exactly the same. So I'm going to rearrange this in descending order as negative x squared, right, because the x squared variable is negative, plus 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. So the first thing I did was I put it in descending order. Next, I'm going to make the squared variable positive. So in order to do that, I'm simply going to multiply both sides by a negative. So remember from the property of equality, whatever we do to one side, we must do the exact same thing to the other side. So here I'm multiplying both sides by a negative. All right, so we have a negative times a negative x squared is positive x squared. A negative times a positive 3x is a negative 3x. A negative times a positive 5 is a negative 5. And 0 is neither negative nor positive. So we now have x squared minus 3x minus 5 is equal to 0. So let me just write the step here, make the squared term positive. All right. So now we're going to use a quadratic formula. So in using a quadratic formula, we have x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. So a would be the coefficient of our squared term. So the coefficient of our squared term is an understood 1. So a is going to equal to 1. B is going to be the coefficient of the middle term. So B is going to equal to negative 3. And C is going to be our constant, which is negative 5. All right. So we're going to use these in the quadratic formula. So we have X is equal to negative, right? Because the negative is part of our quadratic formula. We're going to substitute in B as a negative 3 plus or minus, this plus or minus is important because it breaks the answer down into two parts. The square root of B, which is negative 3 squared minus 4 times A, which is 1, times C, which is negative 5. And this is all divided by 2 times A, and we're going to substitute A for 1. Next, we're going to simplify our signs. So the double negative makes a positive. Okay, I'm going to bring down my plus or minus. So the next thing we're going to do is remember the order operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And the P stands for innermost parentheses, absolute values, or radicals. So we want to simplify inside of our radical. So here again, we're going to apply the order operations. So we're going to evaluate our exponent first. So negative 3 squared is a positive 9. And then we're going to multiply from left to right. So we have negative 4 times 1, which is negative 4, 
negative 4 times negative 5 is a positive 20. All divided by 2. So now we're going to further simplify the inside of our radical. So we have x is equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of 29 over 2. And thus we have our two solutions. x can equal to 3 plus square root of 29 over 2 or 3 minus square root of 29 over 2. Thanks for watching.